Grocery store employees hear cries under the refrigerators before uncovering a wild sight. You can find just about anything at Walmart, even if you're not looking for it. From fresh produce and snacks to clothing and electronics, they've got it all. This past April, however, the employees at a Walmart in Arizona discovered something that definitely didn't belong on their shelves, a stray cat. Only the real surprise came a little while after the cat was taken to the Arizona Humane Society and found a home. Just as the employees at Walmart thought things had returned to normal, they found the cat had left something behind under a refrigerated sandwich display. Walmart is notoriously known for carrying pretty much anything you can think of. Wherever this enormous national retailer opens up, you can expect quite a bit of business to follow. But many people are familiar with Walmart for more hilarious reasons. Walmart has made a name for itself by having a very diverse and frankly sometimes absurd customer base. However, on one particular afternoon, it wasn't an unusual customer that had everyone up in arms. In Phoenix, Arizona, the local Walmart was always a bustling place, especially on the weekends. One afternoon, shoppers became concerned after they heard faint meowing, but couldn't determine exactly where it was coming from. The customers who heard it alerted the store employees, and after carefully investigating the noise, the manager of the store was able to trace the faint sounds to a sandwich display. Now that they pinpointed the location of what they assumed was a trapped cat, they called the Arizona Humane Society for help. They didn't want to take any chances of being bitten or scratched by a distressed animal. The Humane Society's Emergency Animal Medical Technicians, EAMTs, showed up at Walmart with a special device, a snake cam. This would help them get a better view of what was underneath the refrigerated unit. The two workers fed the long camera under the fridge toward the sounds. They were actually watching their screen to see any movement. At first, nothing seemed to happen, but suddenly... There, among the wires and debris under the refrigerator unit, were two teeny chilly kittens. The workers were shocked. How did two cats, who could barely care for themselves, end up under a Walmart refrigerator? The rescue workers informed the store manager what was happening, and the manager actually noted that employees found another cat in the store just days before. Once the mother cat was found, employees handed her off to a local animal shelter. Unfortunately, they had no idea if she'd left two kittens behind. Her babies were incredibly lucky they were found. Through the camera, the rescuers realized just how young the kittens were. That is, they were far too young to be separated from their mother. They needed to get the frightened kittens out immediately. The hard work began. EAMT's Juju and Ruthie Jesus made sure they had a clear area to work, and they began to carefully disassemble the base of the sandwich display. The last thing they wanted to do was to scare the kittens even more. In an interview with Today News, after the whole ordeal, Juju agreed with Ruthie when she said the cramped undercarriage of the fridge was the tightest position I have ever seen an animal in. After several hours of disassembling the display unit, EAMT's Juju and Ruthie Jesus were able to reach the kittens and rescue them from their frigid fate, the Humane Society said in a press release. Thanks to the Humane Society's efforts, these kittens were able to see the light of day, and everyone was relieved that they were alive and well, despite being stuck in such a cold place for so long. The kittens were immediately taken to the local vet, and miraculously, they were in great shape. However, they were still too young to be adopted, so they were set up in a foster home with a family who was fostering other cats as well. Twelve weeks later, the kittens, a gray female named Grace and her cream-colored brother Houdini, grew into adorable little cats. Just look at those eager eyes ready for forever homes. It wasn't long before they found their new families. The two now enjoy safe and happy lives in the comfort of their own homes in a wonderful neighborhood just outside of Phoenix. Fortunately, the Humane Society paid for all of the medical expenses so their new families didn't have to worry about a thing. The shelter was simply thrilled the cats were safe and with nurturing people. 
It's quite a miracle the kittens had voices that were heard in the first place. Grace and Houdini's mother can rest assured her babies are now well taken care of. What's more, Walmart employees aren't even the only ones making cat rescues their side hustle. The Swedish island of Gotland is a popular place for tourists from around the world. However, no one knows the beauty of a place quite like the island's most popular ferry operator. His name is Johan Skarkarl Left, and he's spent nearly his entire life in Gotland. He works long hours each week to bring visitors to and from the Gotland island in a very sleek state-of-the-art ferry. Johan and his trusty crew saw their fair share of unusual things over the course of their career. However, one afternoon they experienced something that shocked even these seasoned sailors. On this particular afternoon, the HSC Gotlandia II was docked in a large port in Visby, the island's most populated town. As Johan was getting off the vessel, he noticed there was some commotion occurring at the AFT. Johan approached the flurry of activity and was told by a few people standing on the docks that they were almost certain there was some sort of animal clinging to the bottom of his ferry. Without hesitation, Johan changed into a specialized suit so he could enter the frigid water. The ocean waters at this time of the year were especially cold, and without the proper gear, a person could quickly develop hypothermia and lose consciousness. Johan knew better than to tempt fate. Once Johan was sure his special suit was fastened tightly, he began to climb down the ladder into the ocean. He knew there were people looking out for his safety, but he wanted to take precautions of his own. Of course, if you've ever heard of the Polar Bear Club, then you know there are those who knowingly enter dangerous frigid water wearing nothing but bathing suits. Johan's mission, however, was far more important than an entertaining dip in the water. Soon enough, Johan found himself adjusting to the water's temperature. Sure, the suit he was wearing prevented much of the cold from affecting him, but when dealing with temperatures near freezing, nothing will entirely keep the cold out. It took Johan a few minutes to adjust to the water, but once he was ready, he slowly maneuvered his body onto his back. This was the position he was going to take for his journey, and there was a very specific reason why. The specialized suit that Johan was wearing was popular among sailors and others who spent much of their time on the ocean. When the person wearing it flipped onto their back, the suit acted like an insulated flotation device, which is exactly what Johan needed. As Johan floated, he paddled both of his arms backwards towards his ship. He still had no idea what he was going to find, but if it was an animal, he didn't want to startle it. Slowly but surely, Johan made his way closer to the aft end, and the HSC got Landia too. Once he arrived, he flipped over onto his stomach and reached his hand up to a ledge that wasn't visible from the dock. What was he about to grab? Within seconds of Johan reaching onto the back ledge, he came floating out on his back with a small animal resting on his chest. It wasn't immediately apparent what it was, but soon people were in shock. It was a cat. He didn't seem to be injured, but he was clearly frazzled by the entire ordeal. The feline was lucky someone spotted him. It had no way of getting onto the dock without the assistance of a human. Once Johan got close enough, he tossed the cat onto the dock with one swift motion. The frazzled feline seemed to understand he was finally safe on land, thanks to his human hero. The suit Johan was wearing did its job, and the frigid water didn't inhibit him from making sure he completed his task. Of course, Johan wasn't a man to give up, and either way, he would have ensured the cat's safe return. The cat, slightly disoriented, hung around the dock for a short time before finally wandering off into the town of Visby. Johan thought about adopting the little guy, but if the cat belonged to a town resident, he didn't want to strip them of their incredibly lucky pet. They say cats have nine lives, and this guy certainly spent one, if not more, clinging to the back of Johan's ferry. If it wasn't for the people on the dock who saw him, he most likely would not have lived to enjoy another day catching mice. <laughs>